All right, so what are you looking at in this screenshot? This is a mix of fish. Uh, you've got some bait schools that are kind of there in the top part of it are kind of broken up. Underneath them are some predator fish. On this lake, it's most likely some white perch some largemouth bass and some spotted bass that are feeding on these things. Uh, that's kind of what's around them. But the part to pay attention to are those little arches right on the bottom, right close to the bottom. They're separated from the bottom. Those are most likely catfish. How big are they? Medium sized fish. I would say eight to 12 pounds, somewhere in that range. Those look like pretty good fish and fish that we've got a chance to maybe catch. All right, I think we may have picked up a fish coming through that area there was uh, a lot of bait and a lot of uh, predator fish underneath all that stuff and right there on the bottom is what looked like some staged up catfish anytime I get those arches hugging right on the bottom just off the bottom just elevated a little bit I've got really good confidence they're catfish sometimes they're decent ones Sometimes they're not. This is a slow bite, I will say that, uh, as far as the way the fish did not aggressively take that bait. It's interesting, but definitely some fish around in there. We got kind of some little humps, ups and downs in here. It's up, it's down, it's up, it's down. Look at this fish, he's going where he wants to. I'm not sure he knows he's hooked yet. If I was in striper water, I'd say I got a striper. Comes that blue cat head shake. Stir him back over here where we can play with him. On my side of the boat. There we go. It's a nice blue. It's a nice one. It's a good fish. Got him. Boom. Sassy needs to simmer down. There we go. Get you unhooked. Nice healthy blue. We appreciate the cooperation there. Coming and putting the show on for these folks. Nice fish. We'll take them all day long, won't we, guys? Good one. No bad markings. Look like I got a nice, easy spawn. I'm going to get a length and weight measurement for the biologist, and then we'll get it back alive. So what's that big old mess of stuff right there? Well, on this lake, it's white perch. Uh, on some lakes, that could be uh, could be white bass. Uh, it could be on a lake where you're uh, putting tech reservoir for stripers, some schoolies, some small 12-inch stripers swimming around in there. On this lake, though, it's white perch. And uh, that's what they look like when they're semi-active and feeding. The more frenzied and crazy they get, the more those lines really start to look like baby stripers down there, if any of you guys have fish waters with stripers. And uh, that's what these are on this lake. It's gonna vary where you're at, so you kinda have to get used to what you're catching, what you're seeing in the waters that you're fishing. Things are not going crazy over the uh, sabiki rig. Boom, but I got one. Might have to. We'll see. Whoop, deuces. That's what they are, guys. That is them right there. The elusive white perch. Not white bass. Similar, but different. These are white perch. Related to the striped bass, actually. That is what's down there. That's what those kind of arches are. That's what they look like. That's what they look like when they're frenzied up and feeding. But when they're thrashing around and chasing stuff to the top, that's what they look like. Got one that time. These hooks may be a little too small. Doubles again, there we go. Two different sizes. Usually, when they're out here, it's one age class that's in a school, but these are kind of mixed up. Little different size fish, but there are literally tens of thousands of them across here, I would guess. This string of fish is probably 150 yards long. The boat is moving, uh, and I've been coming across these things for a long way down through here. Boom, got him, got him, got him. Over to the edge of this water perch but they'll still come into it as i'm wrapped around on my rods oh cost me a fish oh, oh, oh cost me a fish can't be having that happen i switched out rigs put on just these hooks a little piece of perch on them oh they're back they're back on the screen now there's a water. those are active feeding fish boom they're hitting this a lot quicker than they were the previous one. Oh, lost another one man I'm getting slack here i actually uh put out some cut perch 
on the starboard side or the uh, port side of the boat. I figure since we're around this, maybe if we get on the edge of where these fish are, we'll get into some catfish. That is usually what happens. Or I should say, if you're gonna catch them, that's where you're gonna catch them at. Usually on the edges of these massive schools. So what is that right there? Is that more of the perch? No, that is a school of bait. On this lake, it's thread fin shad. Those things are pretty widespread around the country. And these are small fish. They're about probably that long, probably this year's hatch very densely packed into that school. Sometimes some of these smaller schools can be confused with a fish. People will see one of these groups and think it's a fish when it's actually uh, a small school of thread fin, maybe a hundred of them or so. Uh, that's what those gobs are on this lake. Guys, we may have something going on this outside rod. Oh, pinky. This is the new pinky. One of my new pink Ancient Mariner reels. That's what I'm running this year. Got them all across the boat. Oh, did he come off? Did he come off? He may have come off. They're in all different colors. I may have lost that one. It's not a big fish. We will see. We will see. If he's on there. He's swimming off that way. It was not a good, good bite to begin with. Oh, if he's on there, he is T90. There's like a little bit of weight. Is this gonna be the day where I catch nothing but T90 little fish? There's a little fish on there, believe it or not. I feel it now. Feel his head shake. I'm gonna be gentle. Nurse him up here. Oh, another channel. I have found the channel catfish. Shook. We're in the channels, man. I don't know what's up. One good blue. It's a pile of these. I've had some guide trips like this lately, man, where it's just been channel cat after channel cat. I got a feeling some of them blues may be laid up in the mud for some reason right now. But another one, we'll get a weight and a measurement for the biologist and then try to find a bigger one. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Here are a couple more videos that I think you're gonna like. I'd watch that one and then that one. No. No, do, do that one first and then that one. I, I don't know. Just watch them both. They're both good.